All right, I'm down here at Lake Erie, and today it's Valentine's Day. It's the 14th of February, 2023. And the reason why I'm standing right here is because in a minute I'm going to morph a picture into this, which will show me exactly 366 days ago, which would have been the 13th of February, 2022. And you'll see a complete difference. Here it goes. Look at that. Right behind me is ice and lots of it. Uh, in the last episode last week, I have told you the forecast was meant to show in just a couple of days of temperatures being around about seasonal, maybe slightly above like one or two degrees. It didn't quite happen. Um, the weather, <laughs> Ash went quite and warm for a few days. And this is what it is like right now. So what we have right now is a nice bit of pancake ice on the lake and just over there in the distance is Point Abino. Got a bit of uh, fog just setting in over the lake. You can just about work it out. But right there, plenty of open water. Not much ice coverage at all. Bit of smog over Buffalo. And uh, there's Buffalo as well. And look, here we are. This is the uh, boat ramp area. It looks pretty good right now to launch a boat. Uh, parking lot has been cleared up from the storm. And just over here, uh, the dark stuff is the remnants of the blizzard snow we had. Um, it's kind of all dirty and melting away. And this whiter stuff would have been the ice and a bit of snow we've had over the last few weeks, which has been blown to shore. And it's just mount uh, mounted there and melted away. And... Let's do a few comparisons of the uh, the last 12 months. Uh, this is from February the 12th, 2022 from uh, NOAA. And you can clearly see the ice peaked around about 90% in early February and then dropped around about 60% when this uh, graph was done. Uh, but a very high coverage of ice last year as it was shown in the video. But what about right now? Well, this is the graph from yesterday and uh, the average is around about 70%. And we actually peaked just over a week ago just below 40% and it's dropped right off to nothing as of right now. No ice coverage. Now here's the ice coverage map for Lake Erie from last year, from last February. And as you can see there, uh, between about just over 90% it's showing there. Just a little bit of a blue bit left. But it clearly shows that the lake was virtually covered in ice last year. Now let's quickly look at this one. This was just the graph from the just posted yesterday. Clear blue water. Hardly any ice on there whatsoever. All right, the final image, this is a satellite image taken 9th of February 2022. Clearly shows a lot of ice over Lake Erie. Uh, a little bit of a break up there down towards the Detroit area in Cleveland. Uh, but let's flip over to the one which was taken yesterday, the 13th of February 2023. Boom, look at that. Beautiful. Not a drop of snow anywhere on that map. That satellite image, amazing. So why hasn't the lake frozen this year? Uh, one of the main reasons will come down to El Nino, uh, which is where the Pacific Ocean, Atlantic Oceans have been a lot warmer than normal, which affects the weather patterns up above, uh, especially the um, especially the, the jet stream. Uh, the jet stream keeps moving around a lot more. We haven't been getting that really cold Arctic blast coming in. We've been getting a lot of warm weather coming up from the Gulf of Mexico on a regular basis, uh, which has generated a lot more warmth in this area. So we never really got that big freeze, which is basically frozen the lake over and the long range forecast is not showing anything that's going to make the lake freeze at least solid we may get a few cold nights coming up next week which will see some sheet ice over here but it's going to be uh, short-lived because the long range forecast again is we're going to start warming up now as we get closer and closer to spring so this year has been a dud for ice it really really has but this is just absolutely beautiful out here right now i love this uh look of pancake ice all around here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put another comparison up. Um, this is the drone shot I did last year of the winter. So as, as the drone comes in, I'm gonna show you right now, the drone comes in and you'll see just a lot of ice, but if I freeze the picture right there and then morph it in to the video today, or maybe play them side by side, you'll see the difference of uh, exactly how much ice well, the difference complete. There's just no ice. There's just nothing on the lake right now uh, showing ice. It's just a bit of slush. All right, I don't know if you can hear that. I'll turn the uh, volume right up, but that's the sound of the ice. The, like, the crystallization of the ice, slushy, the slushy ice just moving around. It's kind of making a nice sound. It's currently uh, nine degrees down here. No wind, feels really, really nice. You can actually feel the sun in your face. I might even get a little bit of a suntan today, which is kind of rare for this time of year. So yeah, it's been a very, very mild winter. 
Uh, for a lot of people like myself, I love this kind of stuff. Uh, for those who like ice, snow, and winter activities, not so much of a good winter for you guys, but for people like myself, uh, itching to get back out on the water because pff, boating season now could come a lot quicker. I mean, usually I won't be going out until uh, early April, but I got a funny feeling I could be out here um, mid-March when I come back from my vacation. Right, as you can see from the boat ramp, this is uh, the, where the docks will be in about another six weeks time, they'll probably put them back in. But if you notice, the water level's really, really low. And for you boaters this year, I think you're gonna find uh, the water levels will be a lot lower this summer. Uh, there's no snow to melt off from the winter into the Great Lakes. Lack of ice, uh, there's been not much moisture. And with the sun being out a lot right now, a lot of the lake water's actually evaporating. Uh, so the water levels, we're just saying, me and my friend, uh, storms on Lake Erie just been chatting about this and we're gonna see I think the water levels been a lot lower than last summer We thought that was low. This is gonna be a lot lower this summer with the way the weather's been this winter It's gonna have a significant effect on the water levels here at Lake Erie I just want to show you something when we had the seiche by the way while we're here um, This is the bottom here and when we had the seiche the water levels we're coming way up over here, which is uh, six foot higher than me. So from where I'm standing right now, when we had the Seiche uh, on uh, the 22nd, 23rd of December, uh, the water levels were here. I'm standing here on the water. So this is where the water would have been and the waves much higher. And look at it. So this gives you a bit of a comparison to what the lake's really like.